Hi, I'm Dr. Ralph A. I'm a thoracic and esophageal surgeon, board certified, and I'm the clinical program leader of our thoracic oncology program at Swedish Cancer Institute. November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month. I'm here today to discuss lung cancer and the screening options available. Lung cancer is the number one cancer killer of both men and women in the United States. And sadly, only 15% of lung cancer patients survive five or more years. Surprisingly, it kills almost twice as many women as breast cancer. Lung cancer is typically found when it is in the more advanced stages. And for this reason alone, it's essential to understand the importance of lung cancer screening. By the time symptoms of lung cancer develop, it's usually at a late stage, which makes it much more difficult to treat. As people get earlier screening, these numbers should improve. Finding cancer early by getting screened before symptoms start is one of our best hopes for improving survival for this terrible disease. The Swedish Cancer Institute, together with Seattle radiologists, has been an active member of the International Early Lung Cancer Action Project, or ILCAP, since 2000. And we've screened over 800 patients at this center with CT scans, or computerized tomography. This is a specialized uh, type of x-ray with high definition that can identify very tiny nodules at an earlier stage. This experience that we've had makes us one of the most experienced lung cancer screening centers in the Pacific Northwest. In 2006, ILCAP, the International Screening Association, published the results of their CT screening in the New England Journal of Medicine. Of the patients who tested positive for lung cancer in early screening, a remarkable 80% were alive at the 10-year mark. Even more importantly, in August of this year, the National Cancer Institute published the results of a large national trial, the National Lung Screening Trial, or NLST. The study patient screened with CT scans had a 20% decrease in lung cancer mortality compared to the group screened with chest x-ray only. These NLST results are very new, and most professional groups do not yet support a change to using CT scans for screening. There are concerns about both cost and possible harm from CT screening, the ILCAP organization we work with has reviewed these issues, but it will take a while for national policymakers to work all of this through. As a result, at the current time, Medicare and private insurance companies will not pay for lung cancer screening with CT scans. In the meantime, with the results of these studies being so strongly positive, smokers or former smokers who have smoked at least one pack per day for 20 years, so-called 20-pack year smoking history, may be screened through Swedish's lung cancer screening program. You need to pay $300 for that first scan out of pocket. That charge is substantially less than the standard charge for a CT scan. The low dose spiral CT scan takes less than one minute and the amount of radiation from this scan is similar to a mammogram. So this is not a standard CT. We purposely keep the radiation dose low from a safety standpoint. We highly recommend this scan to participants with a history of major tobacco use. Participants should know that abnormalities found on CT are common. If an abnormality is found, we follow the ILCAP protocol to avoid unnecessary tests. However, insurance will usually pay for more tests if they are needed. For those who believe they have been exposed to significant secondhand tobacco smoke, Swedish is also taking part in a secondhand smoke study sponsored by the National Flight Attendants Medical Research Institute. For this study, the first CT scan is free. Another test that Swedish offers is the Mansana breath test. This is a technique used to find signs of early lung cancer in exhaled breath. For this test, the patient breathes into a tube. It is a short test that is given free of charge and should cause no risk. Since the test is still experimental, it may not help you directly at this time, but it may become an important screening tool in the future. We're also involved in a study for early detection of lung cancer in sputum, working together with a local company called VisionGate. At this time, this study is only for patients with known lung cancer. There are some centers around the country who are working on blood tests that may also detect lung cancer at, at its earliest stages. But at the current time, low-dose CT screening, such as Swedish offers, is the best and most studied screening test available. We are very hopeful that the wider use of CT screening will have a major positive impact on the distressing outcomes of lung cancer. This lung cancer screening podcast is intended to be a general overview of screening choices at Swedish and certain factors that may put you at greater risk. Since each person has different traits, remember to talk to your physician. You are listening to the Plugged Into Your Health Cancer Podcast Program. 
For more information, please contact or visit the Cancer Education Center for additional materials and resources. If you have further questions about lung cancer screenings, please call the screening clinic at 206-292-7700 or our clinic at 206-215-6800. Thank you for listening.